This wasn't just an outburst, it was a complete violation of physics as we know it for comets. The data showed the light curve, the graph of its brightness over time, had steepened to an R to the minus 7.5 power slope. To put it simply, that's a rate of brightening so extreme it suggests an almost explosive release of energy, far beyond simple sublimation. No comet model, not even for the most volatile objects from our own Oort cloud, had ever predicted such behavior. The scientific community was caught completely off guard. As Carl Badams and Quan Ye confirmed the numbers, chat channels filled with confusion. Every known comparison failed. An object this close to the sun simply does not double its rate of brightening like that without a clear massive fragmentation event which wasn't being seen. The photometric alarm wasn't just telling them the comet was changing, it was telling them that every assumption they had about interstellar visitors was wrong. For a seasoned observer like Ye, known for his work on the active interstellar comet 2 i borisov the data was both exhilarating and deeply unsettling, a sharp reminder of how little we truly know about the diversity of objects in our galaxy.